The Hollywood Racks Destination 2 is going to be a very cost effective way to get two bikes to and from your destination. And today we're going to be taking a look at it on a 2019 Subaru Outback Wagon. So this one's going to be limited to 35 pounds per bike. So those e-bikes were probably not going to want to put this those on this rack and it does have frame contacts so those carbon fiber frame bikes this may not be the best option for you but when it comes to everything else the wheelbase is going to be a max of 48 inches and the cool thing about this is if you do have some smaller wheelbase bikes so the kids bikes or something like that the little straps right here what we can do so we can twist this knob, loosen this up, and there's two different holes that we can use. So for our longer wheelbase bikes, we're using the hole farthest to the edge. And then for those shorter bikes, you can do it right here. This is a rack that is not gonna be able to tilt away. So on your Outback, we're not gonna be able to have this on here and be able to open up our hatch with the bikes on here. But if we did take the bikes off, we will be able to open up that back hatch. So let's start by taking the bike off. I do like the center section, so it does gonna, it is gonna touch your frame, but we have a soft strap right here. And then on this piece here, this is also rubber. So it's not really gonna scratch it or damage it. And the cool thing about it is, it is gonna rotate 360 degrees to get that perfect fit. And it is gonna go up and down this little center mast. So we're gonna start with the straps on the wheels which have that same exact cover here. So you don't have to worry about all these scratches happening when it's on the rack. All we have to do is just push these in and take these out. I always start with the wheels just because it doesn't hold the bike upright. So now that that's done, we're gonna take our hand, put our hand on our bike, and then we can loosen and take the center one off. And once that's done, pretty much self-explanatory we just take the bike off just avoiding this little center mast here now we can get a closer look we're going to look at that center mast just because there are some more adjustments that we can have with that center mast just to be able to fit your bike exactly how you need it to fit so for instance right now we have it in the center but if we take this out like this we can take this portion here I mean, you can either use the top, which the top one will kind of lean the center mass to one side, and then the bottom one will lean it towards our driver's side. So you're gonna have to just play around with it, see what kind of bikes you have. That's just gonna determine which configuration is gonna be best for you. So it's nice that you have that adjustment. So if you just have a random person that you're usually not bringing their bike to the trail, you can bring them with you and you can adjust it to make sure it's gonna fit their bike. So let's fold this down. And when it is folded down, we are gonna be able to open up our back hatch. So it's not like we're not gonna be able to open our hatch at all. We're just gonna have to lean it back and then we can grab all of our stuff out of here. So once you get to the trailhead, take your bikes off, grab your gear, and you should be pretty good there. It doesn't have any contact or anything. But whenever we're just not using this thing at all, we can fold it up. But first, I do wanna take some measurements. So from the bumper to the farthest point, which is our reflectors for nighttime, it's about 22 inches. And it does have a nine inch shank rise. So if you are going a little off-road with your Outback wagon, the rise is going to make sure we're not gonna bottom out or anything like that. Uh, when it comes to tilting it up, there's a knob, but it's on this side, so you guys can get a closer look at that. The nice thing about the knob is we don't need a tool to take it off. So all we have to do is just pull the pin on the other side and then twist this thing off, pull it out, and it is connected, which is nice. So we don't have to worry about it, you know, losing it or anything like that. We can tilt it up and then we can replace it, twist it in until it's tight, and then put our pin back on the other side. It does get a little close to the bumper, but it's not touching. So one thing I would probably do is we can take maybe this strap and kind of wrap it around just to make sure this isn't gonna go back and forth. That's what I would probably do. 
just so we don't have any contact there. So when it comes to the distance from the closest part when this is completely back, I would say it's about two, two and a half inches. On our Outback, we have a rear view camera. So when the bikes were on here and I put it in reverse, I did see the bikes and it kind of obstructed my view a little bit. But when it's folded up like this, you're gonna be able to see the rack a little bit, but not much at all. So that is something that's kind of nice when you're not hauling bikes, you're still gonna be able to use your Outback and see just as well as before. So that's always awesome. And whenever we fold it up, it's gonna cut down our length quite a bit. I would say about 11 inches from our bumper to this point right here. And then when it comes to the shank, if you have two different types of hitches on two different types of cars, you can put them on both. So right now we have the sleeve in here and that's gonna enable us to use our two inch hitch receiver, but you can take the sleeve off and it'll work with an inch and a quarter. It is gonna come with a locking core with keys and it does have an anti-rattle device. So the anti-rattle device just makes sure that this thing isn't gonna be rattling around so your bikes don't feel it and you're not gonna hear it on the road. Again, it's a pretty cost-effective rack. It's not for those really, really fancy bike frames that you have and it's not for the e-bikes, but I think it is gonna be a really good entry-level way just to be able to get out and enjoy the trails. And that's pretty much it for a look at the Hollywood Rack Destination 2 on our 2019 Subaru Outback Wagon.